Is a la Lambo Shimindambo! <laughs> so Nintendo decided to be funny today and dropped the whole direct. I was asleep during the whole thing going live and one of the announcements there was perfect timing because I was working on a new video on a fan-made Mario game that should be coming out soon. Depends on if I'm too lazy to work on it this week. The game in question we got was Super Mario Bros. Wonder, a new 2D Mario game. I would consider myself a self-proclaimed connoisseur of 2D Mario, having played most of the entries aside from the Mario Maker games and Mario Run. And I'm happy with the game that was announced today. Uh, seeing a new 2D Mario after New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U, it feels great just seeing something like that again after all these years. I know Mario Maker is sort of like one of the major aspects of like 2D Mario these days, but just seeing like a new 2D Mario made by Nintendo is just good to see, especially to get excited for, especially after the whole new Super Mario Bros. series. Uh, with this video, I kind of just want to like ramble, talk about the what we've seen in the trailer. I'm sorry if I stutter a lot, because I'm not good at speaking. But I kind of just want to talk about some of the stuff I noticed in the trailer, and stuff that I thought was interesting. So, first is the not elephant in the room, the art style. I freaking love it from what we've seen. It's colorful, clean to look at, and every character is expressive. A perfect example of this is Mario himself. Like if you see the trailer, you can see how he goes into a pipe and how he has to pull his hat so that way it goes with him. I love that, that's so cute. That's a nice touch. With its atmosphere, it's giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes, and I think that works perfectly for a Mario game. I've always wanted to see Mario go through many different worlds that look unique, that bring forth like various gameplay ideas. It's something that's in the 3D Mario games. But after like New Super Mario Bros, they just decided to recycle a lot of the level themes and most of the gameplay mechanics introduced were not interesting. Or at least I didn't find them interesting. And from what it looks like, we're getting that back with what looks like that Wonder Flower that was changing. Like, you know, the height of the pipes in the trailer and may make levels more interesting with the set pieces like the bison ride or everything vertically stretching in the trailer. Uh, moving over to gameplay, there's a lot to comment. Uh, first, I did not see any time limit. Okay, there is one, but it's only during the aforementioned bi bison ride and nowhere else. Perhaps this means they got rid of it or have it saved for certain levels as a challenge? Personally, I think time limits are an unnecessary challenge that don't make levels challenging. They just more or less incentivize you to beat them in like an artificial way. And like I said, they could be used for certain challenges or levels, but I wouldn't miss them if they were cut completely or just never brought back. Lives are still a mechanic here. Lives are weird because I don't find them to be much of a problem as a game mechanic, but I wouldn't have missed them if they were gone. The only time I would say lives matter, or at least like having extra lives would be if the infinite lives and multiple checkpoints made the game too easy, like Mega Man X5 for instance. But I do think that there will be a sort of balance and challenge, which I hope is the case. And it's not like too easy, but knowing like how Mario games are designed, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. There's also purple coins here. I assume a shop mechanic, but I really don't know what that could possibly entail in terms of what it offers. Uh, probably power-ups, maybe some like special items, or, or the new item in this game, the Wonder Seeds. Wonder Seeds appear here, and I'm guessing that they work like the star coins with how the trailer depicts them. So this will probably lead to like unlocking the optional levels. Now I can get into the actual elephants in the room, the power-ups. In earlier entries like New Super Mario Bros. 2 and U, I found the power-ups to be kind of lame. They didn't add to the gameplay or Mario's abilities and felt derivative of other power-ups. Here, there looks to be levels designed around these abilities, like with Mario rolling as a spiked ball, and the most iconic aspect of this game so far, the Elephant Mario. Something so goofy, I freaking love it. One last thing regarding gameplay is the cast we play as. This is a near-perfect lineup of characters, of course having Mario, Luigi, and Yellow Toad, but adding Peach and Daisy made it even better, giving these two more to do is always great, plus Daisy's best Mario girl, so... Yoshi looks to also be playable here, and other players can also ride him. That's awesome! It was something I wanted since New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but we never got that. 
Until now, at least. I would have loved it even more if Wario and Waluigi were here too, but the lineup is still solid regardless of that. Bluto will probably be here too, because why would a Goomba be wearing his hat in this render? Uh, last thing I want to talk about is the story. We know basically nothing about it, so... Plus, Mario games don't really have much of a story, if any for that matter, but it's showing some interesting ideas related to it. Like with Bowser's ship being basically a flying fortress. And with what may be Bowser Jr., like he looks to be using some special magic to grow stronger or something. I don't know, we'd have to wait and see. So those are my thoughts on what we've seen. It's crazy to think that we, if we don't consider like the Mario Maker games, New Super Luigi U, or re-releases of earlier entries, we haven't seen a new Mario game, at least a new 2D Mario game in almost 10 years. I hope that with how long it has been, they iron this game out to be great. Perhaps even the best 2D Mario game yet. But that's just me being hopeful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.